Well, we're coming at you from AJ Farms, and we have completed the plumbing here. That's the water coming in right there by that uh, drain. And then it goes up, feeds the ice box right there, and goes up in that corner, comes across, and drops down right here where this water heater is. That's my little configuration right there, my contraption. I've used it probably at least five times on different houses I've built. Anyhow, it pressures my line. My water heater's gonna go right there. And then I come across, I did run into a Bobo. I generally do two by six walls and not two by four walls. That gives you a little bit more room on your outside walls and it allows you to insulate a little bit better. But I come across with my cold water and I turn the corner right there and then I had to put my tea on the outside of that uh, plate. But then I come down and put it back inside my wall to hit my washing machine. But on my hot water side, I was able to uh, keep it in line and put it in the plate. I ran out of material I ran out of them inserts to protect my pipe when I was drilling through, so I gotta come back and do that. And so, there's my hot water side. This is my sink. I put mechanical vents underneath my sinks to keep from having to drill through my plate and have another uh, penetration through my roof. And then this is where my shower wall is gonna be now this, my friends, is another one of my deals. Some people pour their concrete around their P-trap. I, I can't do that. I just can't make myself do that. I guess I'm afraid my measurement ain't good enough. So when I get done hooking it up and there's no leaks, I go back with pea gravel and fill it up. And then uh, I'll put some kind of concrete underneath it to support the tub. And then right there, that's uh, sheetrock mud that I put to, when it dries, it supports the tub. It's probably, I don't know, a little old, probably about an inch and a half thick. So, let me tell you, God blesses us ignorant people. You know, I build about a house a year and I was about to mess up that P trap, that drain right there. Uh, I was going to pull it where this, where this drain is here, goes down into that P trap. I was about to put that in and line with that drain. And I kept thinking, I said, man, something ain't right. I just couldn't make up my mind. And so I was getting all my stuff together to do this. And, uh, and then it dawned on me about the overflow. Ain't God good? He looks after us people that can't think for ourselves. And then another thing, by putting a hole like this, this big, it allows you to have room to make adjustments. I had this hooked up earlier and that drain, I guess was a little cockeyed, just enough for the water to seep through. So I had to take it apart and start over. So I had room to adjust for my mistake. And of course, I used uh, silicone sealant for my, uh, instead of plumber's putty. Man, I believe thoroughly in that. You let it dry, it's not going to leak. So there you have my toilet. That's my vent, and I'm fixing to go upstairs and start working. Um, oh, so it's, it's pressurized. I would put it in that tub, but I just put that sealant in there and I don't want it to. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. So you know, it's been pressurized now for, since about oh nine o'clock this morning, eight, nine o'clock this morning. And I hadn't had no leaks, thank the Lord. And where that bench is, that's where I dug yesterday. Come across here with the 
uh, the little O. So there you have it. Our plumbing's almost done. I just got to put some, see how I got those in there. Now those are really hangers. You're supposed to hang your PVC, your uh, pecs from it, but I like them so much better than the inserts they try and sell you for pecs, and it does the same thing. I've used them on every house. I haven't had a problem. Y'all thank the Lord for your blessings. He's always looking after you when you don't even know he's doing it. Bye.